this time with a quick speed shot, I'm going to try to take the dual bug for his first ride. All right, bam, here we are. It's uh, still winter, but it's gone to a real warm day, and then it's going to get real cold again. So today is my only day to try to take the doodlebug for a ride for another couple of weeks. And I've got it kind of dialed in. This tire is flat, but it kind of holds uh, shape a little bit. So I'm going to putter around on there. I got the seats halfway mounted. Uh, the hood's just setting on here, bungee corded down. So I think I'm going to put gas in it, and then we're going to go and see if it'll go. I got these uh, flatheads moved out of the way. I kind of try to rearrange things here too in the shop, so that's why I want to fire this up and pull it out of here. But this is exciting. This is the first time I've ever driven this thing. We had it running in the other video, so I'm going to fire it up, put some gas in it, see if the carburetor still works, fire it up, and then see if the transmissions work, and then we'll putter on out of here. Bam. A little bit of gasoline. I got to temporarily put the battery in it somewhere over here. I got to boondoggle that up and then uh, we'll be ready to fire. All right, here you go. I know you're looking in the sun a little bit because the door is open, but I'm about ready to go and get this thing going. I made a temporary battery tray out of a piece of plywood right here on the frame rail. There we go, the juice is hooked up. Let's climb in and see if she'll start. All right, here we go. This is the first time. I'm gonna push the clutch in, turn my ignition on. Got my throttle here, the spark's retarded, the choke is closed. I'm gonna leave that closed for a second here with the choke rod over here. I'm going, to I'm going to turn the fuel on. I'm going to whir it over here. Here we go. Oh, she wants to run already. Hold on. Come on, baby. She got right here and quit. I gotta figure out if it's got spark or what happened. It just quit all of a sudden when I jumped back on to go. So let me monkey around for a second. We'll get back in. All right, so here's what happened. Um, the ignition pop-out cable has got a short in it somewhere and it was running and then it shorted out. And there must be when it's bent in a certain way, it shorts out. So that essentially killed the ignition. I did the whole bunch of monkeying around. I changed the coil to see if that made a difference because it wasn't getting voltage out of here but then I determined that the wire is grounded out so I, I wired up a temporary wire to the negative side of the coil to the distributor and 
it's firing now, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this wire. I'm going to snake it through the dash and hook the ignition back up. And then uh, it should run again, but there's a big windstorm coming through outside. Um, I had to pull stuff back inside because it started downpouring, and it was a disaster. Now stuff's blowing all over the place, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get actually to drive this now or I'm going to have to wait till the weather gets better because it's going to be like 50 mile an hour winds and I got a bunch of loose stuff everywhere. But I'm going to put the ignition back together and we'll see if it fires up. The timing's off just a little bit because I had the distributor part. I got this all cranked down here. I gotta, I gotta adjust it just a little bit. So let me do that. But it's running again. Bam. Well, at least it's running again. Uh, if it's not raining out, I might still try to do a ride. I'm gonna move some junk. It's windy as hell, but we're gonna go out and try it anyways.
windier and crazy out there. It's like 50 mile an hour winds. But look at this. It's running good. It's, oh, my tarp's blowing away. You gotta get that. Ah, oh, blew the grill shell off my chassis too. Dang it. I probably overfilled the radiator a little bit. It's puking in the can, but it doesn't seem to be running warm. This thing runs off. There's my head. This thing runs awesome. The yard's real nasty. I can't go out if everything's super wet. This thing is working great. Check this out. This is awesome. This thing is awesome. It runs pretty good. Uh, got a little bit of carburetor issues. I don't want to idle real good, but I haven't set the idle yet. The fire's right up now. I got all kinds of gears. The thing is a super creeper. You put it low, low. You saw how slow it crept. And in reverse, it's even slower. I got her up to third and third, just puttering around the yard. I don't want to tear it up too much because it's extremely nasty out there. And I didn't want to quit in the road because I can't push this thing. It's too heavy. But a successful first test. This is awesome. I'm super excited now. So I'm going to keep tinkering. And then when the ground gets a little more solid, we'll, we'll do some more hot laps of this thing. But this is awesome. I'm all excited now. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to put a circle somewhere on the steering wheel. Go ahead and hit that to subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So uh, tell your friends. Hit the bell for the alerts. And as always, we'll see you again with more Doodlebug craziness at the quick speed shot.